Writers, today I want to introduce you to three tools for proofreading that are built into Microsoft Word. The first is spelling and grammar check. Second, search and replace. Third, immersive reader, also called read aloud in another version. Let's start with the spelling and grammar checker. I'm in the online version of Word. And as I typed, some words were flagged, but I'm going to go do a more detailed review. I'm going to click the review tab across the top and then spelling and grammar checker. I'm going to make sure before I do that, that my cursor is um, at the beginning of my text. Mine was, and then it's now flagged. It's made gray. Um, this part right here where there's, I have two word thes in a row and it's giving me two choices. I can delete the repeated word or I can ignore it. I'm going to delete it because it's extra. Then I'm going to do it again and it's going to go tell me that tackle should be spelled this way. If I keep going, this time this different uh, dotted underline is telling me to consider using more concise language. Instead of saying four words been in charge of, they're suggesting I use overseen but I like my choice of words better, so I'm gonna say ignore this once. And then I'm gonna keep going. It's telling me to change the capitalization. If I look at this though, this is some inner thinking, and rather than changing the capitalization, I realize I forgot quotation marks around this. So I'm gonna ignore this once, and I'm gonna put quotation marks around it instead. You can keep going and we'll catch many of our mistakes, but not all. Please note that words that are correctly spelled, but that are just simply the wrong word, might not be flagged. This is supposed to be the word stalked, not stoked. And it wasn't flagged because stoked is a perfectly good word. So there will still be spelling mistakes that you need to use regular proofreading and maybe peers and parents to help you find all of your mistakes. You may be editing your document in the installed version of Word. You may have opened your file from Office 365 and then clicked this Open in Desktop app. From here, you'll once again click Review, and you'll click Spelling and Grammar Check. This time, the editor will open on the right-hand side of your screen, and it will keep running all the way through the document. I'm further down in my document now, and it's flagging the word Brittany, which is its girl's name, and it's not capitalized, and it's suggesting Brittany. This is the one I want, so I'm going to click it. I could ignore once, or I could ignore all. If it's a name that you're going to use a lot in your story that this program doesn't know, you can add it to your dictionary and it will stop flagging it for you. But I'm going to pick Brittany. And now it's finding another version of that word. And now it tells me it's done. Notice that it didn't find the word Ivy. Ivy's also a girl's name and Ivy also should be capitalized. Ivy is also a plant when it's lowercase, so it didn't flag it as a problem. That leads us to our second tool that you can use, search and replace. There's a tool that allows you to find different strings of characters or words. That's control F, but I also want the feature that allows me to replace it, and I can never remember where that is. So I'm going to go about to this hourglass and just type in replace, find out where is that? Oh, it's right here. So I'm going to click on this. Oh, it's control H. I can search for text I'd like to change and replace it with something else. So I could either hit control H or this replace icon. 
And now it's going to give me a couple of options. First, I can just find all the locations, or I can find it and replace it. I'm going to find lowercase ivy and replace it with uppercase ivy. I can either say I want to replace them all, or I can find them and replace them one by one. If I find the next, I'm going to replace that one. And if I find the next one, I'm going to replace it. And I'm going to find the next one. I'm going to replace it. I'm going to find the next one. I'm going to replace it. I missed the first one because I forgot to replace it when I was there. Okay. Now I've got them all, and I'm going to close that. The last tool is Immersive Reader. A narrator will read your story aloud to you, and sometimes it helps you um, see extra words or missing words, or sometimes realize that the punctuation isn't correct if the reader's pauses are weird. Um, so it's a great tool just to help you see your story through new eyes. You um, click the view menu up here on the toolbar, and then you look for learning tools. It might say read aloud. It might say immersive reader. Whichever one it says, click that. And then here is read aloud. I'm gonna put a cursor on the story where I want to begin reading. And then I'm gonna click read aloud. The audio won't pick up very well in this video, but you'll see that my story is being read aloud to me. Okay, what I've heard so far is I heard the narrator read to me and say that there were two these there and that was wrong, so I'm going to fix that. I also heard the narrator say stoked with DVDs and I realized that's because I've misspelled it. It should be stopped. And so by hearing it read aloud, sometimes I can find some of my mistakes. So use these three tools in proofreading your story.